jwcollinsauthor.com check out my books I have a lot of free uh, downloads you can do on my website as well too when you sign up for my email list and without further ado I'm going to change the camera angle get a close up again on the neck and we'll get right at it alright here we are this is in the key of A minor so if you know your root notes and you should uh, on the sixth string, on the fifth fret, that is an A. So this is where we're concentrating on, is the fifth fret and the seventh fret. On the second string, I'm playing the fifth fret and the sixth fret. Still just two frets. Five, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, six, mostly five here. Sometimes I might throw in the seven here. What you heard me picking there in the intro was mostly the fifth, fourth, third, and second string. Sometimes the first. Once in a blue moon, I come back and hit the bass string root on the sixth string on the fifth fret. Most of it was the five, four, three, and two string. So just four strings mostly, sometimes the first. On the 5 7 fret and the 5 6 here. Okay, so all I was doing was that whole little intro, the whole little tune I played, improvised. Alright, so the trick to doing this 
is again, we're not thinking about scales whatsoever. We're just aware of where the root is, what the key we're in, where the root is, and playing over those two frets. The trick is to keep your licks short. Keep your licks short, and I love doing repetitive licks. If you do repetitive licks, you're going to hook your audience. You're going to hook your listener. It just it draws their ear. They identify with 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 repetitive licks, like anything else. Repetitive uh, things that you're trying to learn. That's how you get them into your head. That's how you get comfortable. So repetitive licks. <laughs> second and the third string. Sometimes on the third string on the seventh fret when I get there I will do a bit of a bend. Okay. Sometimes I'll grab the first string and the third. time. That's what makes it sound so cool. signature and again you can do this if it's a minor you can do it all over the neck you can do it in a major as well too if you find a relative minor I have videos out there showing you how to find your relative major and your relative minor chords check that out um, so once you find your key signature that you're in you can go all, all over the neck and play over those two frets if you want the neat thing about it is that it works over any style of music we opened up playing some jazz. How about a little hip hop? Let's try it over hip hop. Here we go. 
We're still on A. Here we go. <laughs> change your feel a bit. Anyway, I hope that helps open up a new world for you. 
and uh, a couple of times when I was doing those licks there, you might have, you might have seen me sneak in a passing note. So I'm going from five, six to seven. Those are wonderful. And you can do those, they're just called chromatic runs, where you're going up one fret at a time. So those are wonderful to add little nice uh, subtle nuances to your to your uh, phrases. So don't be afraid to throw those in there as well too. Main thing though, practice the two fret idea. Make sure your key signature is correct. Check your root of the key signature that you're going to be in on the sixth string. If you're an A, it's the fifth fret. If you're picking a G, the song is in G minor, you're on the third fret. Same stuff. Once you get that down, I'm going to have more videos down the road uh, expanding on that technique of the two frets. Again, adding more passing notes adding slides, hammer-ons, more hammer-ons, pull-off, and incorporating a, few, a couple more frets that you can use, again, without even really thinking about scales so much. If scales scare you, don't let it. There's ways around it until you get comfortable. Anyway, till next time, be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like to maybe have me post a video on, just let me know. I'd love to respond. Until next time then, folks, have the best day you can. See you then.